web workers let you run CPU intensive computation in a background thread, freeing the main thread to update the user interface. Web worker is one of the many workers we have on the web. There are service workers, shared workers, web workers, inline workers, dedicated workers, and all do the same thing, creating a background thread. Whenever a program runs, it is allocated a space in RAM, where its code is executed by the CPU, one instruction at a time. That allocated memory space is called the main thread. In the browser, we have the main thread, which is called the DOM thread, and it is created where the JS engine executes the JS files. The worker will create a new thread called the worker thread that will run a JS script parallel to the DOM thread, and workers don't have access to the DOM APIs. They can't access window or document objects. If you find your application performs a lot of computations and heavy calculations, using web workers can help increase your application performance. Let's do the heavy math. Go with Sloba. In the app component, I created two buttons. One will be executing heavy bubble sorting of 50k item long array, and the other one will perform the same operation using a web worker. Also, I added the input and some hover effects so that we can test how the computation is blocking the UI. Let's add a click event on our main thread button and test the UI responsiveness. Call the main thread method. Let's define it. In the app component, define main thread method and just alert the result of the create and sort array method. All this method does is to create an array of 50,000 items and it uses the bubble sort to sort the items. Also, it returns the time needed for the computation and we will alert that time. I'll make sure to import this function from the other file as is defined there. Now when I click on the main thread button, I can see that the button hover effect is stuck and also I cannot type anything into the input. Once the computation is resolved, UI unblocks, hover effect is gone and the input responds back. You would agree that this is a terrible experience. Let's see a web worker in action. We can generate the web worker with the CLI command ng generate web worker app, but I'll do it manually. In order to make this work in Angular application, you need to create tsconfig.worker.json file, which extends the tsconfig.json. Here you should set up the compiler options, and you need to set the output directory. And libraries, in this case is ES2018 and web worker. For types, you can leave it empty and include all the files with worker.ts extension. And now you just need to include this file inside of the web worker ts config property in the Angular JSON file. Create a new file in the app directory and name it app.worker.ts. In this file, we will execute our heavy computation once we receive the message from the event listener. So add an event listener and pass a message as an argument. Then we send the response back with the post message. Then I will just import the sorting function in the worker and call that function. To use this web worker, let's create a method in the app component. Name the method web worker. First, we check if the type of worker is not undefined. So it means that the environment doesn't support web workers. And you need to execute the code without them. If the environment supports it, create a new worker. And as a constructor, it receives a new URL which is constructed from the path of the worker that we created and import meta URL, which represents the base URL of the module. Then we want to listen to an on message event from the worker, which will pass us data from the calculation function. And I just want to alert that. The last thing is to start the execution and we do that by posting the message to the worker itself while the worker is listening to the message event. 
and don't forget to add a click event and call the web worker method. If we now test our application, we can see that our UI is completely responsive as we are not blocking the main thread. And once the computation is done, we get the response back. And that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me a comment as always. Don't forget to subscribe and I see you guys in the next video.